Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septeria 18. I have a fun, sweet project to show you that I created and it's a top loading storage pocket, which is a perfect size pocket to store a mini journal, which I have inside the pocket and I'll show you the mini journal that I've made. And it's also a great size pocket to store photos inside, uh, package die cuts if you want to uh, keep all your die cuts together you can make a few of these pockets to store your uh, die cuts and then have a whole stack of these and file them uh, it's also a good size to store some fun uh, crafty goodies if you're in a craft group or in a um, or if you're in a swap group you can uh, make one of these and add your goodies and send a little gift uh, packaging uh, pocket with some fun stuff inside uh, memory decks cards uh, you could store lots of things in here um, it's, it's really great and I'm going to show you how to create one of these and the measurements if you wanted to uh, give this a go and I just really like the way it turned out I decorated it with some fun dangles here on the side uh, there's a I punched out a couple of holes on each side to create a closure using some seam binding and then on this side here is where I did add, um, I just tied a little uh, embellished a banner that I made. And I still have a couple of these left in my shop. You get a set of three random banner embellishments with a word sentiment. And then I just added some beads to the end and a tassel. So I've got here, I'll, I'll open up and I'll show you how it looks like. So I've just got some seam binding, but you can use uh, any kind of string or any trim that you want to use to use as a closure. So you just sort of unthread it through the hole, whichever way you like. So I'm just going to get this out. So there we go. And then it just opens up like this. And there is a little uh, pocket in the front here, so you could add... Uh, some more bits and pieces onto the front and I'll just show you what I've got in here just so you can see I've got a cute little uh, die cut and then I've placed an envelope inside here and this one here I made myself and I've made a few of these fun easy em envelopes in my past videos and they're all in different sizes but I'll also do one for this video if you wanted to make one to fit in this pocket with this size and I'll show you how to make that I also made another little cute uh, envelope and or you can use this as a coin envelope and this one here I made using the uh, We Are Memory Keepers a gift bag punch board and I'm going to do a tutorial and show you the measurements if you have the gift bag uh, punch board and it uses one six by six paper to create this cute envelope and I'll do a video as well for you so um, you can give this a go if you want to use these envelopes inside your pocket in here because it fits perfectly in there like that so I will do a video for that and then um, on the inside is your top loading pocket where I placed a cute uh, mini journal in here that I made and I'll also do a video with the measurements for this one there are other videos out there on how you can make this same similar style mini journal um, but I'll do a, a tutorial to show you how to make this so it can fit inside this pocket but it opens up and then you can write along here. There's a lot of writing space. There's a top pocket where I'll place another little fold out um, like a booklet where you can also use this to write some journaling. And that goes up here. And then there is another double blank page for more journaling. And on the side here, I placed a like a note card where I made a little file tab. And you can add a photo to both sides to, or to document a photo. I've made another one here. And this is a cut apart. And this paper here and this one is by Die Cut with a View. And it's, let me just see, it's there. If I can grab it, I've got it here in front of me. It's their Magnolia 12x12 paper pad by Die Cut with a View or Die Cuts with a View just uh, for your reference and then I've got other papers from my other stash that I've used in here so that this part here is the cut apart from that same 12 by 12 paper and that just slides in there it turned out really cute I like this little album and then it opens up uh, to the next page I've added some vellum here I had some vellum scraps so I just made it into a little flip flip page for more journaling 
and then there is um, another space here so with this album you can do it two ways um, you can make this part here as a top loading pocket or you could make it so that you could use this to do a lot of journaling along these three pages where you can add photos and then it opens up this way so you can do more journaling on these three panels or add more photos or you could create a, a top loading pocket here which will then just give you two uh, pages for writing and then a back page so it just that's a uh, just a little option that you could do with this little cute mini album and that fitted in there and you can see inside there is a lot of storage space it's nice and nice and uh, got a large opening so you can um, add some extra bulk to the inside the pocket so that's how it comes together just place that in here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this really fun top running storage pocket and then this closes up that way and then these two side flaps closes up so that will hold the uh, top closure in place so it doesn't um, come undone and then you just uh, tie it back up with your string around the little holes and that's the back so let me show you how to make the pocket and i'll also i uh, give you the measurements to make this uh, size envelope as well as this little front pocket as well so all you're going to need is uh, a piece of paper and you want to cut your paper at um, four inches by 12 inches so a 12 by 12 paper and you want to cut that at four inches and you can make three of these out of uh, one 12 by 12 paper and then you on the 12 inch side you want to score at four and a half inches and 10 inches so there's only two score lines where i've already marked my score lines here on my 12 by 12 paper 12 inches by four inches and then i scored on the 12 inch side at four and a half inches and 10 inches you'll also need two pieces of papers to create the side flaps here and you want to cut two of those pieces at three inches by four inches two of those and for the little envelope which is this one here you want to cut that piece at three and a half inches by six inches and to create a, a little pocket here in the front if you wanted to create a pocket you want to also cut that paper at two inches by four inches i'll put the measurements down below uh, the video for you for all the measurements in case you miss out on so you've got the measurements for reference so let's make the uh, pocket first so you've made your score lines and all we're going to do is simply fold one um, one part up which was at, that you scored at four and a half inches and then we're going to bring this uh, one down that you scored at 10 inches and that will create your closure for your top loading pocket so you can see it, it looks like that all right, so now that one part's done put that to the side we're going to grab those two uh, pieces that you cut at three by four inches which are these two and they're going to be your side the side closures all we're going to do is fold them in half on the three inch side so the length is at four inches so just fold them in half And you want to just grab your scoreboard and we're going to line it where um, along the part that's open just along that part so you want the fold part on the right and we're just going to score at half an inch and the same with the other piece and making sure the fold is on the right side and score that as well at half an inch
and now you've got that we are going to open this up and we are going to glue on the inside panel just on the one side up to that fold line you can use your double-sided tape if you like so i'm just gonna glue just one side and then we're going to bring them together and press that down so you'll have this part all glued and this part will stay open and do the same with the other piece once that's all nice and sealed you're just going to gently open up these two pieces and just gently fold them back a little bit not too much just a little bit just so it'll be easy to uh, put together onto the pocket all right so what we're going to do they're going to go along like that and that's going to get the pocket's going to get sandwiched between those two little openings and then what we'll do we're going to open this up and now we're going to I mean, you could glue the whole thing, but I like it this way. We're going to apply glue to both sides, but don't uh, don't allow it to uh, stick together. We're going to bring this over, and we're going to just line that bottom with the bottom of the pocket, and making sure that fold line is just beside the edge. And press that down so you want to press them down on both sides and then you want to make sure that the fold line is just enough so that you could uh, fold it in front of you like that so once that's done you can do the same to the other side I'll do that Just again lining that up at the bottom edge making sure the score line is just um, along the side of the edge of the pocket just gently fold it over so once you've got that that will create uh, the closure for the front as well as the closure for your uh, top flap and I'm just going to now just gently just press that down. So you can see now that should create um, closure. So that pretty much completes that part, which looks like this. And then you can uh, create your holes. You can make three holes if you want. You can just use uh, one big hole and use that to tie the front. Or you can use two whatever you like I'm going to just use the same two holes and I did create a little template with the two holes just so I know where I've got to put my one so I'm just going to place that on the front and I'll cut this at um, one inch by four inches and then I'm just going to place it here just so I've got the same measurements for both sides just grab this mark it in the middle like that then let's grab the circle punch so that gives me one side and now I'll just do the other side and repeat that you can use your ruler to make your measurements if you wanted to whatever is easy for you I hope that's in line so pretty much in line and then I've got these little circle reinforcement which I use I use the we are memory keepers um, I think they're called reinforcement circle thingamajiggies to just give it more to make your paper sturdy so that's what i punched out using this 
I'm just going to layer them on top like that just to um, give it more strength and tidies up the little circle bit. I'm just going to quickly put this on the top. Oops. So that's one. I'll just do two. I won't do all. I won't do both sides. And then I also done two on the back here as well, just to tidy that up. But I won't do the rest because it's don't want to waste too much time. But you kind of got the idea. You can do that if you wanted to do that. So that part's done. And now we're going to make the uh, little pocket in the front and also the envelope. And this is another option too. You don't have to uh, create a pocket if you don't want to you could just add the envelope to the front here if you wanted to do that and create an envelope and when you open this up you have an envelope tuck pocket there you can glue the back and the i mean the three sides of the envelope to create another tuck pocket at the back there as well so um, you can do that as well if you wanted to create an extra pocket so that's just another idea for you but i'll give you the measurements to make the little tuck pocket and also the envelope so this uh, for the pocket I cut the paper at four inches by two inches and we're just going to score three uh, lines at a quarter of an inch on three sides so a quarter of an inch on one side there and one side on the bottom and the side so the three sides, half an inch, a quarter of an inch on three sides. Let's see, just drop my scoring tool. Um, and then I'm just going to angle cut these at the bottom just to make it easy to fold. And up here. And it's just the same on the other side. So there you have um, your pocket and then I'm just going to fold the three sides in. And this also gives you extra room for your um, pocket if you want to um, add more things in your pocket. And all I'm going to do is just glue the three sides. And then you can place it anywhere. Like, I like to place one just a little bit above uh, the fold or the pocket, just so you can still see a little bit of that pattern of the pocket. But you can go further down if you like. You could even make yours even higher if you want your pocket to be more deeper. You can um, adjust your sizing. So you can see it gives you more room now because you've got a bit of a gusset on the side for extra bulky uh, goodies. So there we have that part for your pocket done and and that's ready now if you want to create the little envelope to go inside your pocket or as your pocket i'm going to give you the measurements for that so your paper was cut at three and a half inches by six inches and all we're going to do on the three and a half inch side we're going to score at a quarter of an inch on both sides and then just checking the direction of your um, print so I'm going to have mine facing down this way I'm going to line it on the six inch side and we're going to score at two and a quarter inches and five inches and then we're going to turn around up um at the shorter part of where we scored we're just gonna cut all the way down till we get to that score line and then we'll cut that and we'll cut this side and do the same to the other side and also trim off this side Great pockets if you don't have a die cutting machine, you can make your own pockets like this in any size you like. And 
you just corner around the corners. And I might just use this. I'm just going to create a little thumb notch. And again, we're just going to fold these two sides in. I think these are one of my favorite little envelopes to make because you can make these in any size and so easy to put together. So I'm just going to trim off the edge along here. There's a little bit didn't cut the paper straight enough so sometimes you have to just uh, trim, trim the paper down a bit and then just close this up but there's your little envelope note card envelope and that just goes in there like that and then I'm also going to corner around Closure. There we go. That is all there is to making this really cute little top loading pocket. And then with the uh, string, all I do is I just go, you can do it any way you like. I'm just going to go in from uh, the top under and then through there. And then the same with this side. And just go from top under and then this just goes under just like um, you do, as if you're doing uh, some shoe uh, your shoelaces and that gives you that and then you just tie it up in the front into a little bow and trim off all the excess um, string too long so I'm just going to trim it down a bit and that's your cute little top loading pocket storage pocket with a nice little decorative tie up in the front as a closure and it's all ready for you to add all your fun stuff inside I hope you enjoyed this video with uh, this tutorial and I will be back to show you how to make this cute little uh, mini journal as well and I'll also have a video on how you can make one of these cute little uh, mini note card envelopes with the We Are Memory Keepers a gift bag punch board. So I hope you enjoyed this fun little tutorial and if you want to give this a go and you want to uh, show me how you made yours and uh, on place it on your Instagram. I would love to see it. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.